Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another episode of Retro Gaming with Warp Jester. Hi, how you doing? So as you can see, we're uh, stepping into the next uh, campaign event here. So we've got to eradicate the alien infestation and keep Rainer alive. Yeah, main character and all. Uh, so we're going to start off with the unusual thing here. We'll get the uh, guys trucking. Get a couple of, a couple of workers going and a couple of uh, Maureens going. Damn near Maureens. So, we're going to go through and just kind of poke about here. Do the usual. Explore, see what there is. Kind of get a feel for where the map is at. And uh, we'll kind of roll around and see what we can find. So, it's been an... Been a few weeks now since uh, last time I've had a chance to play this, and I realized the last time my videos are going up, I'm like, oh, okay, I need to get some more recording done. So finally, get a chance to sit down and poke around a bit. Um, nothing too exciting going on, really. We've been uh, poking about, doing a little Minecraft, doing doing a little retro gaming, just kind of having a good old time. For the most part, though, I think. Uh, the biggest news is uh, I have officially decided to uh, jump on board with uh, the Grumpy Owls server for their uh, next season, uh, which is going to be a, a 1.9 Minecraft server. I'm still still a BRG or still part of BRG. I'm just also uh, going to be doing some doing some stuff with the Grumpy Owls. A big part of it is. Uh, Mostly because um, I want to fire up my uh, gaming how-to series for Minecraft again, and I I've, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, so I really do enjoy that. Um, but uh, I've never had the chance to really uh, really step into that because I've just been busy with other things. Now I'm starting to actually get a little bit of time to do some stuff and, and a little free time to actually do some recording. And I figure if I'm going to start doing tutorials with Minecraft, which I mean, I'll do, I'll definitely do some modded tutorials as well, but for the most part, I'm doing the vanilla stuff. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well go ahead and do it on the most current version there is. And since Grumpy Owls is doing a, uh, um, uh, ooh, hello, guys. Since they're, uh, doing, uh, uh, 1.9, I figure that's probably the best thing in the world. Oh, these guys suck bad. Woo! Yeah, let's go ahead and do was a control one, I think. Let's move. There he is. Shoot them. There you go. Um, but yeah, since they're doing 1.9 server, I kind of want to jump on with them. They're they're a lot of good people. I've been watching a lot of the videos from uh, a lot of the grumpy owlers, and uh, um, they're really cool people. So I really want to hang out with them. And I figured this time around, instead of just doing tutorials by myself, what I want to do is actually do tutorials with other people. So. There'll be an opportunity to actually um, kick it with other people, maybe do tutorials with them in terms of uh, uh, showing them how to do stuff or working with them to learn how to do stuff. So it really will be an opportunity to uh, have a lot of new stuff and a lot of fun stuff going on. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's that's the big, big thing going on. Um, I do intend to. Let's go back there. I do intend to uh, get the uh, season two of the Ball Rocket uh, Cherry Bomb server up and running here sooner than later. Honestly, I just uh, I've been kind of slacking off on getting the new artwork done, and whatnot. And I finally got to a point where it's like, you know what? If I'm gonna be doing anything, I might as well uh, try to get everything set up proper on it. So I was gonna use the old art, which I still may do. To be honest with you, I was hoping to get some new. Uh, new music from uh, a good friend of mine, Seshi, but she's been busy with a lot of stuff, and so it may not happen. So I'm also tapping another friend of mine, uh, uh, Prophet Dastro, who actually does the uh, music for my uh, series one. Um, so I'll likely be uh, hooking up with him and seeing if uh, I can get him to do some new art for me. Yeah, get your butts to work. Same with you guys. Right away, sir. Commander. Let's say we put a little further up here. Just so those guys can move a little closer. Go, go, go. 
So, yeah, so I'm going to be getting that uh, rock and roll here pretty soon. Um, and I've been sitting for a while, but uh, like I said, I, I, I've kind of been holding off on, on starting the season two just because I want to do the art. And it's just, there's a, there's a threshold where it's like, okay, I, I need to stop waiting to do the pretty stuff and just go ahead and um, uh, just go and get it done. I love, love this music. I, I know, it's janky, it's old. What was it? Was it a troll? Troll one? No. He's Jimmy. Oh, got another... Uh... Oh, we got a whole bunch of them up here. Go ahead and unlock all this goodies. Oh, BB. Oh, Bonnaby. Like this already. Throw you guys in there. Throw you guys in here. Put these guys here and here. Oh, and yeah, we'll go ahead and use come up here and land. Why not? Come on up here. Go, go, go. Come say hi. So yeah, so that, that that's basically where I'm at with the uh, the gaming aspects, and I'm hoping that uh, I have a chance to actually putz around, have some fun. But in the meantime, uh, what else has been going on? Not a whole lot. As I said prior, I've got a new one on the way here. Uh, just about a month from now is the due date. Of course, babies don't really listen to those particular dates, so they kind of do what they want to do. But, you know, i get some enjoyment in while I possibly can and <laughs> see if I can't uh, uh, have a little fun here. Um, the other thing I'm going to be hopefully doing here pretty soon, actually the first time I'm going to mention this, is uh, I'm actually going to be starting another new series, believe it or not. <laughs> um, this is actually going to be... Uh, inside the gamer studio. This is actually going to be a series I'm starting to interview uh, other uh, BRGers and other YouTubers and other friends and whatnot um, in kind of the gaming element. So it'll be a chance to sit down with them, or quote unquote, sit down with them, and actually um, uh, basically just get to know them and ask them questions that people may be interested in, kind of just find out who they are. So that's going to be a fun one to do. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get you guys, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that I love to just completely go berserko when it comes to uh, uh, building up masses before I go anywhere. Yeah, it's just kind of the way I am. So that's one of the reasons why when I play, uh, play StarCraft, I tend to uh, be a lot more akin to... Uh, playing with friends I know rather than people online because a lot of people who play or played um, the original StarCraft they tend to be all about rush 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 and try to beat people as quickly as possible me and my friends were a lot more into the whole idea of let's actually you know build up the masses and have some fun with it kind of a thing so we were so much more uh, about long game than we were short game which is you know, got its advantages and disadvantages I guess um, I just, you know, when you get together with friends to hang out and do shit, pardon me, stuff, woo, pardon me, uh, <laughs> um, you, you really want to spend time to actually enjoy hanging with friends, not just, you know, rock them, knock them out, and piss them off. <laughs> so we, we tend to sit back and, you know, take little posh shots, take little posh shots at each other, and then just kind of sit back and relax and ponder uh, the meaning of life or why we build up our forces and try to uh, oops, um, try to figure out what we're going to do next and, and try to find some dominating way to really make somebody's life miserable. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. You're going to be the new number one. I don't know if I hold shift, I think it is. Yes. We're going to make you the new number two. 
Number one, I already did number two. Oh, yeah. I am the Greek Royal! Don't give it to me now! No! Sorry, I come from an era where you know, people had butthead back when they didn't suck, and. Uh, it was, uh. It was, a. Uh, am not. I, I'm not gonna say I'm proud of it, per se, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it was what it was, something to watch back in the day. Come on, you little craps. Oh, they're not gonna pull me out. Yeah, that's right. Run! Run, little fire bat! They're just, they're just gonna sit right there at the edge. Okay, you guys need to go back. That's what I'm talking about. That's a right proper group right there. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's grab the fire. Fire bats in the skies. Yeah, we're gonna have three in the back end here. We'll make you group two. So we got a main group and our little backup group here. No ideas. That's right. Did that little mess up. Alright. Anything else on here that you know about? You know about me? Nope. Alright. We're good. Alright. So yeah, so uh, I I like I said, I'm I'm not all about the quicky wiki. I like to build up and fart around and, and make with the obnoxious masses that can really just screw things to the high heavens. Alright, number two, come on back here real quick. We're gonna build you some additional friends. Insufficient Vespian in gas. gas. Mm. Okay, do I have any more vis? Do I have, is, is there, oh, look at that! Hey, Vespian gas. Hey, you're free. In a second. Do me a favor. Build me a refinery. Build me a grand refinery. Build those guys out there. Um. Yeah, what else is news around here these days? Uh, not a whole lot. I've been kind of trolling through Minecraft news to see what's going on. Um, wanted to uh, just kind of keep tabbing the thing, and I, I'm also in the news sometimes. But I did note one of the articles I read was about the new Minecraft for Windows 10 beta coming out. I'm not really sure what all that curtails, but it may be interesting. Mm. So I had to get a drink. Whew. Um, I didn't get a chance to really dig into it too much. I'm not sure there's much in the way of details in terms of, uh, what, what exactly that is. Um, if there's anything special about it. I mean, I, I have to assume that if they're doing the, specifically Minecraft for Windows 10, then possibly it's not Java-based? I'm not sure. I really don't, I really honestly don't know. Again, I haven't had any time to kind of look into it. Um, so I'm kind of pondering or wondering if, uh, if that's the case, but uh, uh, beyond that, um, I've been uh, kind of keeping tabs on what else is going on in uh, news, and they've talked about somebody, I don't know who the guy is, but some dude they've picked as the uh, director for the Minecraft movie. Again, really haven't, I really haven't even bothered looking, uh, looking into the Minecraft movie. I haven't really paid much attention to it. I'm just... I'm kind of a whatever kind of person on that, I guess. But, yeah, you know, it is. It is what it is. So, bad on. Hey, thanks a lot, there, buddy. Go ahead and make another one just in case. So these guys, in case, in case you weren't aware of it, these are the uh, little supply depots for the Terrans. You have to have a minimum amount of these guys. They'll up your uh, uh, total number of units you can have to, like, 100, I think. Um, so I have them build those out so we get more room there. We've got our Vespian gas refinery down here that these guys are pulling from. Right. Go ahead and make a couple more of these guys down here. 
We'll just tell him go straight to that one. Maybe it'll not help us out a bit. Um, yeah, yeah. I was. I, I kind of forget sometimes. That, you know, if you if you haven't played this before, um, try to remember to explain a few things here and there. Back to work, you. And you should be automatically heading out there. Oh, of course, I forgot they don't automatically start harvesting. They just stand out there and look silly and wait for nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like I say, if you haven't played this game, follow along. The tutorials, these little campaigns, do an excellent job of kind of um, walking you through, uh, giving you a feel for things. And, uh, they really, ooh. hold on, spitters. Oh, yeah, he's toast. This is Jimmy, Commander. Get your butts out the way. This is what I didn't like about this damn game, is you have, like, these guys in the way. It's like, Rainer couldn't get down here. Rushed. Um... But the Terrans, Terrans are Terrans are cool. Terrans are probably my second favorite uh, race to play. I never could get my head wrapped around Zergs. I I tried. I really really tried. But I just they're they're they are a challenging race. Don't don't get me wrong. I I I I I don't think anything less of them. Um. I I've seen people who have devoted their life to playing Zerg, and man. Once you, uh, once you get good at uh, running Zerg, it's it's disturbing just how good you are at it. Um, they definitely have their oh crap, they definitely have their perks in that regard. But uh, it, it it it's definitely a learning, <laughs> definitely a learning curve to say the least. Uh, guys out real quick. Oops. Um, yeah, so if, if, if you can figure out how to use Zerg and, and, and work with their shortcomings and, and, and work with their strengths, um, they're they're formidable. They are very formidable. But you have to to learn them. Uh, I'm, I, I hate the, the confinedness of having to build on creep. That was that purple stuff you saw. It's just, it was literally something that I did not want to try to deal with. I am one of those people that as early game as possible, I tend to try to uh, find that, that, that primary choke point and then build a barrier defense around that choke point. So, you know, find a ramp or a narrow passage or whatever and put a bunch of bunkers if you're... Uh, Terran or uh, Photon Cannons if you're uh, a Protoss. Hey, you want a piece mm. of me, boy? You always kind of been my me, tactic boy. on that, so that's kind of how I roll. That's how I roll. Yeah, I don't know if I need these guys in here, to be honest. Want to turn up the heat? Need a light? You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece Pull those guys out here. I figure what the hey, we're gonna go balls deep in here. Might as well just grab everybody and have that. This music springs back memories. <laughs> it's a, it's one of the fun things about uh, playing these older games is uh, there's. There's just something about you. you. You hear the old music, and it's just a immediate uh, kind of a little rush inside you. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna grab that line. Actually, it's like the Marines' front line, just because we can. The bats. We'll go ahead and make uh, number two. Let's go ahead and have two down here and one down here. And then all the dregs and leftovers that are left here, we'll go ahead and uh, put with Rainer. You guys all done building? Okay. What do we got for? Oh, we got 
plenty of resources. Let's go ahead and just load up on Marines. What the heck? Again, I'm, I'm somebody who likes to just overwhelm to no end. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I never remembered to actually do the upgrades. So this right here is your little uh, Terran Academy. This lets you do upgrades to uh, like the Marines for firepower and then have other buildings that can do upgrades for your armor and so on. But they're kind of secondary tertiary buildings, and I am really, really bad about managing that kind of stuff. <laughs> our, little, uh, our little buddies here are going to be running out of uh, goods here pretty soon. Oh. That's the thing about the Vespian gas I've learned from history is the Vespian gas, you can't have more than one guy in there at a time. So you want to find that, that perfect balance of how many you can have cycling for efficiency. If I were to actually pick the space up and move it, which is a Terran trait, you can actually lift off some of their buildings, I could get a little bit closer. And I think the closer you get to, you get the efficiency of doing like three of those uh, little workers. And they'll sit there and uh, just cycle perfectly, getting as much best being gas as possible. Checked up and good to go. Perfect. You want a piece of me, boy. You want a piece of me, boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get number one. Upgrade complete. Yay! Now we're gonna do a little more damage. So number one, right down here. Yeah, a bunch of guys just tucked up right. In there, and you'll see why in a second. Number two. That's why. Yep, yep, that is not so well. Just gotta try to draw these guys down so the Marines can just honk on them, but yeah, you know. Good enough, right? <laughs> you can cycle back a little bit. Good deal. We'll call you reserves at number four. You reserves can come on down here. Come on, Jimmy. Come on down. All right. Since you're right up here, number one. Oh, so I didn't kill anybody about these guys. If you tell them to walk up to some place, it just they don't listen. Crap. Like I'm gonna go exactly what you tell me to do. If I'm getting hit, well, so what. Oh, yeah. Number four. Let me kind of... I want to get into the fourth group kind of back over there. Kind of our reserve to refill primaries. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, find that one already? Oh, yeah. There's the end of our mission. All right, so let's just have everybody have at here. One, two, three, four. This is an infested Terran uh, base. This is actually a functional thing you can get in game. If you're playing Zerg, you can actually capture um, an enemy uh, Terran uh, command center, convert it, and you can spit out these little suicide uh, Marine bombers. Does that make sense to me? Because the Marines don't come out of those; they come out of the barracks. Yeah. Whatever. Destroying a vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standard colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. Boy. You wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> Victory! So there we go. We've wiped out the infestation, discovered a uh, new building, and oh my god, look at the resources. I am so awesome. <laughs> That's the thing, I, again, I know I said this before in the other videos, but I love the fact that you can go through and you can see the comparable, especially when you're playing other friends. It's fun to look at the stats, you know, view relative to them in terms of all these different uh, uh, 
levels and you know what you've mined, what you've killed, what you've raised. Uh, it, it, it's it's fun, it really is. All right, so we're gonna kind of wrap it up right there. I didn't expect it to take this long. Wow, uh, <laughs> you know, like I said, we we cast it back and putts around a little bit and, and build up an army when you probably didn't need to, especially with Rainer. Uh, being a special character, he does a lot of damage and can take a lot of abuse. I could probably annihilate a good chunk of them. But, again, I, I like putzing around and, and, and just, you know, being of this better safe than sorry personality. So, anyways, uh, so that's it for uh, StarCraft uh, for Retro Gaming. We'll be back again soon with another episode here. But uh, for now, uh, y'all have a randy-dandy day. Stay healthy, stay healthy. Bye.